<laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm Jen. Welcome back to my channel. This week is going to be a cook the basics video and we are going to be learning how to cut up a pineapple. Not a cute little pineapple, just a regular pineapple. And we will be using a knife, not our hand. But the very first thing we need to do is learn how to pick a good pineapple. So when you go to the store, pick one that's more of a golden color, not a yellow color, because the golden ones are going to be sweeter than the yellow ones. All right, if you hear my dog barking throughout this whole thing, I'm sorry, he decided to be a jerk today. All right, so pineapple. Uh, the quick, easy way that I learned how to cut up a pineapple is cut off this end, cut off this end. But to make sure your pineapple is right, if you can twist this easily. There's that, and then it gets this out of the way, so you have a little bit of an easier time. Cut the ends of your pineapple off. Just get those out of the way. But what we're going to do first is cut off all the outside. Clean up any parts that are left there. Let's get rid of all this now. Now I cut it in half. And you see the core right here. So what I do is I cut it in half again. And then I cut the core out straight down oh and then I drop my pineapple the core I, I don't use it for anything I'm sure you could find use for it you could google it I'm sure Google has uses for it but I personally do not know of any but I'm you know what I think I'm gonna google it see what I can do with it hey Google what can you use pineapple core for Here's a summary from the website kitchen.j321.com. Here are a few ways you can use the core of a pineapple. Blend the core in a good blender like a Vita mix to make juice or smoothies together with other fruit or vegetables. To make pineapple broth, blend the core together with tomatoes, cabbage, celery or whatever you think is suitable to make broth and more. By the way, this device is set to do not disturb mode. I know, I said it to do not disturb mode. Apparently, you can make broth out of it. So, if you were really all about that uh, zero waste life, you could put those on a blender, make your pineapple smoothie. They're just really hard to chew, very fibrous, but you know, fiber is not a bad thing. Add the fifth core out. Then you could just go ahead and cut it into bite sized pieces or whatever size pieces you need it for. So I hope this has been helpful. You know, if you like pineapple and always bought it either canned or pre-cut at the store, hopefully this will help you because generally uh, at stores that I go to, the pre-cut pineapple is way more than whole pineapple. So there's this. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Just a quick little short video. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck in your fruit preparation. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them because uh, I am not a chef. I'm just a home cook. I just, you know, dabble.
anyway so if you have any questions leave them in the comments if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, make sure you uh, push that little bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye! Okay, just so you know, this is where you get the pre-cut fruit. You only get the pre-cut fruit in an emergency. And this is where you get the canned fruit. You only get the canned fruit during the apocalypse because canned fruit is disgusting compared to fresh fruit. And now, here's a video of my dog being adorable. Enjoy! Trying to fold laundry, but then this little bug climbed up in my lap. And every time I stop petting him, he gives me that look. And how can you say no to that face? It's just so cute. So we've been doing this for 15 minutes instead of folding laundry, and I'm okay with that.